my frozen peas, my peeled and chopped butternut squash, and I've got my water ready to go to steam it, and my steam basket. First, we're going to place all of our butternut squash in our steam basket. Plop it in there. Basket lid. All right, now I've got my steam basket lid tightly screwed on, so I am going to pour in the water into the steam water reservoir. And you can see right here on the sides that they have these handy little markers, so you don't even have to measure it out beforehand. We're going to fill up the water to level one. Okay. And we are going to twist this right into place, like so. And we are ready to hit the steam button. I'll check you in a minute. So my cooker just beeped and now I have removed my lid from the steam basket and I'm going to add my peas. Just like that. All around. And we're going to add more water. Careful. There is steam. So you could burn yourself but they give you lots of warnings in the cookbook. So you are fully prepared for the steam. We're going to add it, fill it up to my level 2 marker, then we're going to lock the water back into place, and I will get back to you. I'm going to put this lid on, it takes two hands, and uh, we're going to steam it again. And you It's been about 14 minutes, and now I have steamed both my peas and my butternut squash, so I'm going to just lift the steam basket and place it to the side and for this recipe it says to reserve some of the steamed liquid which has a lot of the um, vitamins and um, other essential nutrients in there for your kiddo and then we're going to place the food right back into the basket and we can put that in the sink and for this recipe, it says that we need to use about one and a half ounces of um, liquid, which is not really a lot. So just a little bit, like right about there. Now I'm going to put the lid on and I will show you how we blend it really quickly. We are almost done. All right, so my daughter is 10 months old and she likes things a little bit thicker. So I am going to choose the less blended, uh, less smooth option and turn it to the right. And here we go. Look how quickly it goes down. And we're just gonna grind it up a little bit at a time so that you can have a little bit chunky. machine comes with a really handy little spatula right here and you can hook right to the side so I am going to take it we're going to open this up look you can even use it one-handed right now let's see we're going to see how it looks in here I think that looks like a pretty good consistency for my 10 month old daughter we will try it out on her as soon as she is ready for lunch all right so here is our butternut squash and pea puree and here is the 10 month old who will eat it. Hey Charlie, you ready? <gasps> Hi, are you ready? Yes. Again? Can we try again? Okay, ready? Mmm. Ah. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> isn't that good? 